today is day number five, five of my 30 day juice feast. <clears throat> it's also Father's Day and I had a pretty crazy day. Um, just, it, it's hard because like when I hang out with my dad or you know just typical family stuff when you hang out with a family member you go out to eat. <laughs> And, um, obviously I'm fasting, so that was interesting because it's the first time that's ever happened to me where I was in a restaurant and I didn't order anything except water and I had my juice with me and my dad ordered, like, stuff that I used to get, um, a lot, almost, probably at least two times a week, which is, um, like, plate lunch breakfast because all the restaurants were all slammed, you know, it's Father's Day, so we went to a plate lunch place called Blazing Steaks in town, and they had, like, plate lunch breakfast, which in Hawaii, plate lunch is basically, like, rice, a lot of white rice with meat, and breakfast would include, like, two eggs. So, let me turn this music on. Um, so, I had my green juice... And I was sitting in this plate lunch shop, and like these people were in there, and they were just like staring at me, like, oh my god, where do you come from? And what the hell is going on? Because I'm drinking out of this, like, like this, this mayonnaise jar, um, basically of just green sludge or green looking puke water, and um, it just looked like doo doo water. So it was interesting. Um, but my dad, he's really proud of me. Uh, but yeah, he had um, like spam and eggs and rice, which I never used to get spam, but I used to really like um, sausage. So I get sausage, eggs, and rice. Um, just typical like Hawaiian local. That's the way we eat. That's what we're how we're raised and how, what we're raised to eat. I wasn't raised that way because my mom is a vegan and. When I was a baby, I was very vegan, but my father never was, and the rest of my family weren't. We were all, you know, typical local American family, and anyway, so that was pretty interesting part of my day. And then, um, I, I, quick, I just want to say this quickly, so we spent Father's Day get, gathering materials to make a dry box, which I'm going to, it's is really going to help me, once my fast is over, to stick to a raw diet, which is, um, you know, we're, I'm just going to dry bananas and mangoes and pineapple and just all kinds of stuff in there. It's going to be really cool. It's kind of like a dehydrator, but you use the sun, so it's a lot better. <clears throat> so yeah, my dad knows how to make dry boxes because he's a fisherman, so. Um, but anyway, there's that. And then there's this. Um, I... I mean, yeah, I went to the hospital for this, but basically what happened was when we got home, um, there's this huge commotion in the backyard. The chickens were just running everywhere, and the mother chicken with all her babies were scattered, and and this creature was chasing them. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so anyway, um, it turned out to be a mongoose, and long story short, it ended up running into the chicken coop and trapping itself. So what I did was I tried to trap it in the little snap trap cat. It's for cats. Um, it like has a door that shuts. Anyway, I tried to put that trap in there, and when I opened the door to the chicken coop, it jumped up and bit me, and punctured me in several places. And then they, at the hospital, they only uh, wrapped it in just one band aid, which is kind of strange because I have punctures all the way around my finger, um, and it was bleeding really bad. But anyway, I, I I panicked and I said, you know, oh my god, rabies, I need a rabies shot. And so uh, my cousin took me to the emergency room. Luckily, we don't have rabies in Hawaii, I found out. Unfortunately, um, they did have to inoculate me with a tetanus shot. And um, I called my mom afterwards and let her know, you know, what happened and everything. And she was so pissed at me because I... 
got an inoculation she she's totally against those things and and i am too but i'm kind of a pushover when it comes to doctors and that's why i don't like to deal with doctors so anyway yeah so i got a tetanus shot and my arm really hurts and and my mom just feels like what a horrible thing for me to do while i'm going through this cleanse it's like my body's so pure right now and then i just injected all this poison into my arm and she's right you know but but anyway, um, I'm also supposed to get antibiotics, which I'm not going to do. I'm just not going to do that. And just hopefully this will not get infected. <clears throat> I don't know. And I don't get lockjaw or all those things, but I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, I think I'll be okay. So anyway, yeah, very interesting day five. Um, I'm not hungry. I haven't had any hunger. I've been really good. Um, cravings were a little strange today, especially when eating with my dad. Um, well, when my dad was eating and I wasn't, that was an interesting experience. Um, but anyway, yeah, I feel I feel good. I feel really good today, to be honest. We did a lot. I, I went through a lot. I went to the hospital and all that stuff, and I survived. And I don't feel like my energy's low at all. Not at all. I worked in the garden afterwards and... I feel good. So anyway, that's day five and I'll see you soon.